How 1943 bungee cords solved what 286 typhoon modifications couldn't. On August 11, 1942, test pilot Seth Smith felt his brand new Hawker Typhoon shudder once before the entire tail section ripped clean off. R7692 tumbled through the sky in pieces, taking an experienced aviator with it and leaving Royal Aircraft Establishment engineers staring at wreckage that made no sense. This wasn't battle damage or pilot error. This was a factory fresh aircraft with around 11 hours on the airframe, less flight time than most pilots logged in a single training source. More would die the same way before anyone understood what was killing them. The Napier Sabre engine roared with approximately 2,200 horsepower, more raw power than any Allied fighter had ever carried. But that thunderous strength was murdering pilots faster than German bullets, vibrating through rigid engine mounts and turning airframes into death traps. Multiple pilots died before engineers realized they were fighting the wrong war. Early modifications focused on strengthening the tail attachment point. Steel straps, aluminum fish plates, internal brackets welded across the transport joint where fuselage sections met. Each fix made logical sense. If something breaks, you make it stronger. Traditional engineering wisdom demanded thicker materials and more robust connections. Early reinforcement modifications wrapped aluminum fish plates around the critical joint, creating what looked like armored protection for the aircraft's most vulnerable point. Test pilots reported feeling more secure, and ground crews took pride in their reinforced machines, but aircraft kept falling out of the sky. The powerful Sabre engine's unique vibration signature, a high-pitched shriek that pilots found exhausting during long missions, was doing something that conventional analysis couldn't detect. The fish plates and steel straps were solving a static strength problem, while the real enemy was dynamic and invisible. Every failure followed the same catastrophic pattern. Elevator balance systems would suddenly lose effectiveness. Flutter would begin in the control surfaces, and within seconds, structural forces would exceed anything the aircraft was designed to handle. When normal engineering approaches weren't working anymore, anything became fair game. In 1943, Royal Aircraft Establishment engineers tried something that looked absolutely insane. They suspended an entire Typhoon tail section on elastic bungee cords while keeping the main landing gear tires deliberately underinflated. To anyone walking past the test facility, it looked like children's playground equipment had somehow invaded Britain's most advanced aviation laboratory. The breakthrough came from treating the aircraft as a single oscillating system rather than separate components fighting each other. When engineers mapped the vibration nodes during resonance testing, they discovered critical points where the elevator balance completely lost effectiveness against flutter, frequencies where the tail essentially became uncontrollable. What the test data revealed changed everything. The Sabre engine engine wasn't just powerful, it was transmitting specific harmonic frequencies that turned the entire airframe into a tuning fork. At certain operating conditions, the engine created resonance patterns that no amount of static reinforcement could address. The solution demanded precision, not brute force. The final solution introduced precisely calculated inertial weights mounted directly on the control column, combined with a completely redesigned elevator balance mass system. Instead of fighting the vibrations, the new system absorbed and redirected them through calculated frequency dampening. After the defense Definitive modifications reached operational squadrons. Tail failures ceased completely. Pilots who had grown accustomed to checking over their shoulders during every flight could finally focus on the enemy instead of their own aircraft's structural integrity. The high-pitched Sabre engine note remained fatiguing, but it no longer carried the threat of sudden death. German fighter pilots who had learned to exploit the Typhoon's reputation for structural failure found themselves facing aircraft that no longer betrayed their crews at critical moments. What had been a psychological advantage for Luftwaffe pilots, knowing their opponents flew potentially suicidal machines, vanished overnight. Combat effectiveness statistics tell the complete story. Typhoon squadrons equipped with the final modifications recorded significantly higher mission completion rates and pilot survival statistics compared to earlier variants. And this revolutionary testing method became the foundation for modern aeroelastic analysis. The science of understanding how aircraft behave as complete dynamic systems rather than collections of separate parts. Every modern airliner and military aircraft undergoes similar resonance testing, though with sophisticated computer modeling replacing the crew but effective bungee cord approach.